Well, next few hours will still feature more clouds than sunshine at times, but as we head into the mid and late afternoon, that's when we'll really start to see a more noticeable clearing. We're up to around 80 right now in Providence, mid 70s in Newport and New Bedford, just below that 80 degree mark in Smithfield, and right now 77 in Westerly. Add in the humidity, it feels like the lower 80s in Providence and upper 70s along parts of our coastline. We've got a warm stretch ahead. The temperatures will be running between 85 and 90 degrees right through Independence Day. We really have fairly quiet conditions too until we get to Saturday afternoon and evening. That's our best shot this week of seeing a shower or thunderstorm as a cold front comes through. Our North Situate camera showing those clouds filling back in after we've had some breaks here in the late morning. Newport under partly to mostly cloudy skies and there's even a couple of sprinkles showing up on our live Doppler radar. The good news is this is having a tough time actually reaching the ground. There's still enough dry air overhead despite that little bit of mugginess in the air for most of this to dry up as it falls through the clouds. So other than a sprinkle, we're expecting to stay dry this afternoon. And here's that hour by hour forecast showing that again over the next few hours, those clouds will be very prevalent in the skies. But by three and four o'clock, we're giving way to mostly sunny conditions and it looks good for any evening plans you might have, including catching those fireworks displays this evening into the night. We go where skies will once again turn partly cloudy. We'll wake up to some of that on Wednesday morning, but a brighter day overall is expected under mostly sunny skies for this afternoon. Again, a mostly cloudy start, a mostly sunny finish. The temperatures will continue to climb. We're headed up to the mid 80s this afternoon inland and we'll stay around 80 degrees at the coastline. If you're trying to get a little boating in, the winds are out of the west. We've seen some gusts of 20 knots. Visibility, though, is unrestricted and we've got a low tide that's about an hour away at 121 this afternoon. Again, evening looking good. It'll be warm. Six o'clock temperature still at around 83 degrees as those fireworks light up the sky. Nine o'clock, 76 and then falling into the lower 70s at 11. Late night lows under partly cloudy skies will drop to about 67 degrees. It'll be warm and a little muggy. So tomorrow is the big night. We've got uh, many fireworks displays that are expected and inland areas even at nine o'clock tomorrow evening should still be close to 80 degrees in Attleboro, Cumberland and Foxboro, Bristol in the upper 70s, Block Island at around 70 degrees. Clear skies expected for this. It's looking like a fantastic summer night to catch the shows. North Providence at about 80, situated 81 socket near 81 degrees. So the mugginess, not intolerable right now, but it gets worse as the week goes on. We'll go up to oppressive categories by Friday and Saturday. And with that, the temperature is gradually warming up too. So today's into the middle 80s for highs. Tomorrow, we're thinking upper 80s with a mix of sunshine and a few fair weather clouds Thursday for your 4th of July 88 degrees. If you're headed to the parade in Bristol, we expect the 10 o'clock temperatures to be at around 81 as the parade kicks off and into the mid 80s by the end of the day. Friday beach day, perhaps low 80s at the coast inland close to 90. A shower thunderstorm threat for the weekend again, mostly towards Saturday afternoon and evening. We'll keep you updated on at WPRI.com. And we bump up to oppressive for the end yes. of the week. You're all smiles. Gets well, me every you know, time. We're in we the dog it. days of summer by then. It's July. We're fair. All right, Michelle, thanks so much. Now